What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. Uh, I want to do a real quick video today talking about that rapid fire again. So I put out my video the other day where I mentioned a few of the issues happening with the rapid fire. Uh, one in particular I mentioned that I thought there was a little bit of latency which was causing me to not be able to fly with as much confidence through gates. Um, that was kind of the best theory I had as to why I was flying a little bit worse, why I had a little bit of you know, lack of confidence going through gates. It was kind of similar to what I've had with other cases where maybe there's more latency of camera or something like that. So that's where I came with that conclusion. Anyway, Tony Cake weighed in, said that's absolutely impossible. No way that's happening. Some others said there's no way that's happening. So I decided to come out here and do a little bit more testing for you. So what I'm be doing today is I'm gonna run in a, a course, a relatively simple course I set up here. I'm gonna be running both in rapid fire mode and in legacy mode and comparing those timings back and forth. I set up a simple course to make sure I had enough time to be able to run with the timing system and I'll run through as many packs as I can and see if I, by the end of the day there's any difference at all. I also brought my Trudy in case I want to compare that to see if there's any difference there. So maybe that other day was just off, um, but we're going to find out today if there's any actual difference this second time around, the second time testing. So just to confirm, I do want to show you my quads that I'm going to be running with, the same ones I was running last time. Um, I got four quads here. All right, so this is a Detroit multi-rotor prototype frame running a Hyperlite F4 OSD with an Akon AK32. And these are 2207 1722 KV motors, um, a Microsoft camera, and then a Unify race. These ones are Mode 2 Ghost frames. They're slightly different. The one key difference here is I'm running 2405 1722. Another one here, Mode 2 Ghost frame, 1722 2405. And then finally, I have one that can carry a GoPro, another Detroit multi-rotor frame. Um, the same setup as the first one, the 1722-2207 uh, KV motors, uh, also running with that Micro Swift. And then these are running with Foxier Predator V2 cameras, so that's a slight difference. Oh, and another thing, they're all running Crossfire. A lot, some of them are a little bit beat up, but Crossfire is the control link for Encore. Um, the other thing I've done here with my Rapid Fire module is I'm actually running with the other antennas, the ones that I was using on the LaForge last time. I thought the LaForge had a little bit better receiving last time, so I decided to swap the antennas I was using and put on the uh, Menace and Menace patch there. Maybe that would account for what the difference was. Anyway, I'm going to get this set up, start doing my tests, and uh, see how she performs. All right, so I just made it through my first two packs, uh, both running in rapid fire mode. You can see the little lock icon in the corner. It actually looked pretty decent to me in this lighting condition. So definitely lighting conditions plays a role in kind of that look that I'm seeing. Um, the way it looked the first time, it just, it looked awful to me. I did not enjoy it, but this, I'm not mining it nearly as much. So that's a really good sign. Uh, second thing is that with the way the sun is, I tried running my primary racer first and I just, I could not see. Um, I'm running the micro swift and when that sun gets in your face, you just get blinded. Um, so I wasn't able to fly the course effectively, went up with 5 laps, 210, that's not okay for this simple tiny course. Um, I am still getting warmed up, so I don't expect my best laps, but when I switched over to my 24-5 build with the Micro Predator, I could actually see the gate somewhat, even though I'm going direct into the sun. Really helped me out there, and I was able to get 9 laps in 208. So anyway, I'm going to switch over to Legacy Mode, see how I like that, and just keep running this test. You got me paper thin, doing concrete face, diving romance in the madness.
All right, two more packs in, both running in legacy mode. Um, legacy mode felt really good, what can I say? Uh, 10 laps, 204, so definitely an improvement there. Uh, the other one was 10 laps, 210. So definitely faster both times. I'm gonna switch back to that rapid fire mode, make sure I can beat that time before going back to legacy. Oh man, all right, so that did not bode well for my theory of latency. Very next pack, 10 laps, 202, so two full seconds faster, plus my fastest lap is a half second faster. Yeah, so that didn't take long. So not boding well, just gonna keep putting through more packs, see how we do, but wow, I, you know, the colors are not bothering me as much today in these lighting conditions. That must be playing a bigger factor than I realized, more so than this latency. I feel kind of bad at this point, but I'm not ready to call it. I'm just gonna keep running packs and see what I find. Right, very next pack 11 laps to 11 so got faster with the rapid fire what can i say i don't know exactly what's going on i'm not even seeing the white lines in my screen um that i was seeing last time i haven't seen the issue where it goes straight black i haven't seen the issue when a power on it goes straight black I haven't seen any issues at all today out in my testing which is really really troubling um that i made that video yesterday with the issues i was having now I stand by everything I said in that video. I was experiencing all of those issues in that video and I wanted to share those results with you guys. Today I'm having a totally different result, which is kind of surprising to me just how different it has been. The colors, they're a little bit more vibrant, but in this condition, it doesn't, it hasn't bothered me yet. Um, I'm putting up just as fast times in rapid fire and legacy mode, that's not bothering me. The lines through the screen, I'm not seeing those. Uh, the only thing I can think is that maybe somehow that connection inside the goggle bay was somehow loose or not seated well. So the fact that I had removed and put the, go the module back in somehow helped correct for those issues. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. It's kind of troubling at this point. So the one thing I am going to do is I'm going to let the sun go down just a little bit more, get a little bit darker, try to replicate some of those more lighting conditions I had the other day. And maybe that'll start presenting itself with some issues. That's the best I got right now. I'm actually kind of troubled by these results so far. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to throw in the True D module, just get a couple laps in, make sure that still feels good before I go back to rapid fire for that sun going down. In the stillness somewhere above The city lights you're falling in Lucy dream 
All right, guys, so as you can probably tell, the sun has basically gone down behind me. Things have gotten pretty dark out here. This is a condition more like what I was flying in the other day uh, when I did my initial tests. Something surprising just happened. One, the noise, the diagonal lines, the white lines that show up when they run in rapid fire mode, those returned. Um, I switched to legacy mode, they went away. Put it back to rapid fire mode, they came back. Um, my flying in rapid fire mode went to crap. Um, it just, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's much harder to fly when the lights go down, when it gets dim out, and I'm in rapid fire mode. I don't know if it's because like the frame rate kind of goes down or the refresh rate, so things are a little bit more blurred, and then when you blend those together, they get even more blurred. I'm really not sure what it is, but I ended up switching back over to legacy mode while the sun was down, um, ran a pack through, and I had my fastest lap of the day. So I definitely noticed a big difference when, the, when it gets dark out, when it's conditions like this, running rapid fire mode versus legacy mode. So I feel like my initial you know, findings were actually pretty accurate. Um, the thing I'm actually most glad for today though is I had zero issue with the black running you know, windows. I had is zero issues with it going black screen while flying. Those are the things that actually troubled me the most about this whole thing, uh, just because that's where it really scares me in a race. Like, you know, if it starts going black on me, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna be in bad luck. So it was good to see that that was not an issue today. I'm hoping the fact that I took the module out, put the module back in, that resolved the issue. It was just kind of a loose connection, something like that. I don't really know, but hopefully if other people see it, then, you know, Immersion can work on it, it won't happen going forward. Um, but bottom line, yeah, so in the nice conditions, when it was more sunny, I had no issue with rapid fire mode. When the sun went down, it got really difficult for me. What that means, I don't know, but that's kind of, I think, where my initial findings are coming from. That's from finding things now. In conclusion, I feel good that I know that when it gets dark out, switch to legacy mode, I get good results. During the day, run rapid fire mode, I get good results. There's ways to use this module and be really successful. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think there's a lot of improvements still to be made. I think firmware updates are going to improve it over time. Again, this is still V1. I have faith in Immersion RC. I think they put out good products. I think they'll continue to put out good products. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. I feel a little bit better doing a little bit more testing. I feel a little bit better bringing that to you guys to give you guys another perspective on racing with the rapid fire. Hopefully you can take all this information, put it together, form your own opinion about what you think. Um, and I hope this has been helpful. So, you know, I wasn't originally planning on doing this testing, but after the response I got to the first one, I felt like I had to do it. Hopefully this was helpful to everybody. And um, yeah, I gotta go fix up my quad that I broke today. Broke two arms on one quad. Get ready for that Buffalo Bando race. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.